All right, hey, what's up, guys? Um, as you can see, this is a big stack of films and movies and Blu-rays and steelbooks and shit. And this is all stuff that I got for the month of October, from October 1st uh, to October 31st. And it's actually a bit more than I thought, but uh, that's I think like that's happening every time now that I've done any video of this sort. But uh, like I said, this is an October haul video. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do these from now on or anything. I just wanted to give this a shot because... Um, Making individual, like, unboxing videos is probably not something I'm going to continue doing as often anymore, except for, like, maybe specific things, like things I want to do unboxings for. But, uh, I'm going to try to stick, get away from that, maybe do haul videos at the end of the month and occasional update videos, um, sort of like the one I did a couple weeks ago. And actually, some of the things I did in that video are in here, too, but I'll just go over them quickly. So, um, anyway, without further ado, this is everything that I got in the month of uh, October. 2019. Um, and actually, let us grab these five films. I bought five films during Kino's, uh, Kino Lorber's, um, sale that they do every, um, October, I believe. And, um, if I'm being honest, I just kind of pick movies that I'd eat, I had in my cart for a long time now, or movies that I had, um, I'll just read the description. If it sounds interesting, I'll, I'll toss it in. If they're like 10 bucks or less, I'll usually give them a shot. I do that a lot with Kino, actually. And uh, so far, it's been pretty good. I have a lot that I haven't watched, but the ones that I have watched that I've gambled on have been pretty good films. So, um, the first one I got here is um, Whatever Happened to Aunt Alice, which is um, like a murder mystery or something. I actually don't know much about it, other than like just reading the description on the back, like I said. Um, but still. Um... Yeah, I guess I can say anything else about it. It's good. It's um, probably interesting. I guess I can... If anyone who's never seen these, every single disc looks the same. It's got the KL Studios classics. It's got the ratings and stuff, and then the title. It's got the same design on the back. Nothing special about them, really. And then I got The Reincarnation of Peter Proud. And it uh, stars Margot Kidder, which is cool. But, um... Same thing, though. I don't know anything about this. This has a lot more special features than most of their films um, that get released on Kino. Um, I know a lot of it's image galleries and stuff and the radio spots, but it's still it's nice to have a bunch of features on there. Pretty cool. So you can pause that if you want to. Like I said, I'm not going to go into these because I, I honestly don't know much about it. I kind of buy these as impulse buys. And again, it's one of those things like whenever these companies try to ha have sales like um, uh, Kino or... Uh, or companies like Di Di uh, Diabolic DVD or places like that. I try to order things when I can, even if it's just a couple of things. Aero Video, Vinegar Syndrome. I try to buy uh, just one or two things, if or maybe more, obviously. Um, just to keep my interest going, because it's, it's, it's important to um, support these smaller businesses. Even though Kino is not like a small business or anything. It's just, you know, a boutique label. Um, Scream and Scream Again. I actually almost bought this on Twilight Time. I thought... Um, Two, three years ago. I think it's out of print now. It is a um, uh, Christopher Lee, Peter Cushing, Vincent Price. You know, they were actually in a bunch of movies together. I actually I thought that they were sparingly in films together, but it seems like they're in at least three, four, or five. I thought that was not that many, but um, I got this mainly for that to see all of them in it. And um, like I said, the premise sounded cool. And you can read that right there. And it's got just a couple features on there. And subtitles, too. Some of them don't have subtitles. Looks like these ones did. I got lucky. I prefer subtitles just in case I, um... Um, I'm gonna watch this, like, early in the morning or something, and I don't want it to be too loud. I just like having the option for subtitles. That's me personally, though. I like this cover art, too. This is actually the alternate cover art. I think this was the... Yeah. Some of these have alternate cover arts for some reason. This is the one that I came with. That I kind of liked. That look. Even though it's pretty much the same thing. It just got a different color scheme. And then Thirst, I actually have seen this film. I watched this back in, well, when did it come out? 2009? I saw this back in 2009, yeah. I rented this actually from Netflix, from Universal, I assume, Universal Focus Features. Um, I rented it on, from Netflix when they had discs um, back in 2009, and I really liked it, but I have only seen it the one time. It's a Park Chan-wook film uh, from the director of the Vengeance Trilogy. It's about... Um, a guy who turns a woman into a vampire, and she's really... It's, yeah. 
forget now. It's a vamp. It's a Korean vampire film, and I remember it being pretty cool. So yeah, I want to check that out. I was gonna check that out. Of course, I was gonna check it out during the month of October, but I just didn't because I was watching all kinds of movies. That, by the way, I mentioned this before, but like thirty day, thirty one days of horror, like watching a movie a night. It's it's really cool for the first like six, seven, eight days. But 31 straight days of watching a movie is really hard to do when you've got, like, a job and a social life and stuff going on. And, you know, I'm married and I've got, you know, we do things once in a while. Once in a while. I can't just... Some nights it was literally just me throwing on a movie in the background while I did shit. And so I'd be looking up and watching, like, what was it? I, I threw on Halloween uh, 2018. And it's like, I've seen it a couple times so I can just throw it on. But it's like... It's just not in the background while I'm doing shit. But I was watching it still, so it's like, I, I, I countered it. Um, but it's hard to do. I don't know if I'm going to keep doing that. I always say this. I feel like the last two years I did this. Because it's it's harder to do. But uh, I'll probably keep doing it. Anyway, the last one I got from Kino is um, The Night Strangler. And it's already at six minutes, too. I said I was going to leave it under ten minutes, and I keep fucking talking. So, there's that. Darren McGavin is um, Kolchak? Right? It's Kolchak, right? Not Kojak. Yeah, there's Kolchak and Kojak, and they were around. They were like TV detectives around the same time. They're very different characters, but I just get them confused. Sorry. I got The Night Strangler, and I haven't seen this either. And I actually, I watched um, The Night Stalker last, last year. Actually, I think I watched it during 31 Days of Horror last year. And I, I actually didn't care for it that much. I thought it was okay. Um, So, I don't know. I got it anyway, though. It was like nine bucks, so. Just have a... Oh yeah, this actually, this came with a trilogy of terror insert. I don't know if that was an accident, but uh, totally did. That's funny. Those are the five movies I got from um, Kino during their sale, and I usually get five or four depending on how much they cost to make the fifty dollar free shipping, because um, I don't like paying for shipping. <laughs> um, I can put these. I'll put these over here, I guess. Um, what else here? Oh, The Haunting of Hill House. I, I, I mentioned this in my other video, but, um, it's a great show. Check it out. Um, buy it on Blu-ray if you want to. I think it's still around $30. So if you don't want to spend that, you can obviously watch it on Netflix. It's a great show. I can't wait for, um, season two, which comes out, um, I actually have no idea. I assume next fall. Uh, The Blob from Screen Factory. Um, I actually haven't watched it in a while. I watched it a year or two ago. I've seen it before, and before that too. But and I did actually own the um, Twilight Time of that too. But I sold that when I found this was coming out, um, because this has more features than that did. I think, doesn't it? I don't know. I just wanted to get this one instead. Um, so I did. I haven't watched this transfer yet. Although I think the transfer is no different than the other one. Here's the um, theatrical poster art. But uh, yeah, so I can't really vouch for. Anything else? It's got some new audio commentaries and and some interviews. Which is typical of Screen Factory, Shop Factory's um, special features. But I got that too. That's pretty cool. I'm going to check that out. Um, I actually have no idea. At some point. Uh, I mentioned Three from Hell already. I haven't seen it yet. I've heard, you know, I've heard mixed things. I'll still watch it at some point. City Hague's last film. I uh, also got the Omen uh, collection. I mentioned this already in the la last little update I did, and I did an unboxing of it. So if you want to check that out, you can check those out. So pretty cool. Watch the first film. I liked it. Need to watch the rest. Uh, I also got something that's not horror. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. This is Spider-Man Far From Home. I did not catch this in the theater. I did watch this uh, the weekend I got it, though, and um, I liked it. I actually liked this more than Homecoming. I have, If I'm being honest, I was a little... Um, um, underwhelmed with Homecoming. I mean, I enjoyed it, but uh, I didn't have a whole lot of replay value with me. I feel like I'd watch this one again, especially knowing some more things about it um, that I didn't know when I started. Um, I just kind of liked it. I liked it a lot. And uh, with my disc. Oh, I think my I, read, I gave my uh, disc to my dad because he wanted to watch it, so that's what that is right now. But I got the 4K still, and uh, but not. I'm not a huge fan of not having the. There's like the Spider-Man logo on here, but it's like this. It's kind of copying the, the Marvel thing, but you know, that's how it is. That's how they do things. Um, the the Shining, 
I think I showed this in my last update, didn't I? Well, if I didn't, I really honestly got this because it's a new 4K scan, and um, I really kind of like this design. And I like the yellow, too. I don't have a whole lot of yellow steelbooks, so I figured I'd get that. Um, other than that, you know, I haven't checked the transfer yet, so I have no idea. I've heard it's good. But um, it has a spine slash, too, which pisses me off. But what the hell are you going to do about that, I guess? Nothing. And I got Galaxy Quest, because I did not own it, and I figured I might as well get the steelbook. I really wish this came with a um, digital copy, and the background is just some, like, sparks or something. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to check this out. This is from 99, I think. Is that what it said? I think it's 99. Yeah, 99. Pretty cool. Sigourney Weaver, Alan Rickman, Tim Allen. Really cool little Star Trek time spoof kind of film. Okay, let's take a look at some of these arrows. I got the Prey, which I'm, I've, I've heard is not very good, but uh, it doesn't matter. I still got it. And uh, I was again, I was going to check this out over the month, and of course I didn't. But um, I did do an unboxing video or anything, so I can just show you this. This is the... I think this is still new art, actually. This is, I think these are both new artworks, aren't they? Here's the Blu-ray disc, and here is the international cut on Blu-ray. And that's the, I think that's the um, uh, theatrical poster or something. It's not human, and it's got an axe. If I recall correctly, like, I think it is actually human, and it's, you know, <laughs> it came with this, like, uh, wilderness-like questionnaire or something. Pretty cool, and then a booklet like usual. Pretty neat, and it's got the slip cover, of course. But uh, you know, I don't know. I just got it because why not? And then actually, like these I got just the other day. This is from the Arrow uh, Film Sale they were doing on their website from uh, the UK site. Um, um, I forget exactly. I think it was just a sale, like. Every one, each each of these four films I got here, these were each like, how much were they? Like five pounds, so about seven-ish dollars each. Um, plus shipping, I think? I don't remember. I don't recall. Anyway, I got uh, Contamination, which I've honestly heard is not great, but you know. Whatever. And uh, let's see. Yeah, sorry, I remember reading the little thing here container numbers available anyway it's funny actually i got the i ordered these on like a friday or something like that and then i apparently would have received these the following monday or tuesday and i got a, a fedex thing in the mail around my door because i'd missed the shipment of course and um and it said i had a package at the post office or the fedex office and i was like what the fuck are you talking about from from the uk and I was like, I just ordered that on Friday. There's no way it's here yet. And so I waited, like, until the following weekend to go get it. And sure enough, it was these these discs. I actually didn't show you anything else about this film. Here's the description on the back. You can feel them in your blood. Uh, oh, these are, these are actually... Is this one, though? Yeah, this is actually A and B. The majority of the uh, Aero Video films, I think, are mostly Region A. Otherwise, I mean, Region 3, excuse me. Uh, or they're Region B, and sometimes they're Region AB. They, they usually have their ratings on there, but uh, sometimes they, they still work, even if it doesn't say it. Eaten Alive. Again, I think I've heard this is not great, but I don't uh, I don't care. For a couple bucks, I was thinking, what the hell. This is also AB, apparently. You can pause that and read that if you want. This is a Toby Hooper film, I think. Is it? Actually, am I getting this wrong? Yeah, Toby Hooper. Or Toby, to whatever his name is, yeah. The uh, Texas Chainsaw Guy. Welcome to the Starlight Hotel. Your room is reserved. I don't know anything about it other, other than the fact that it gets pretty nasty reviews. Best little horror house in Texas. Horror house in Texas. It's a dude riding a fucking gator or something? What the hell? Um, so I got that one. And I got Hellgate. Which, again, I'm pretty sure it has bad reviews, but... Um, from the special effects masters behind Hellraiser and Hellbound comes terror taken one step further. 
Beyond the Darkness, Terra Lives Forever. And there's the regular art. This is uh, Region B, it says, so probably won't play, but I can try it. Play in my Region, region A player. Yeah, I'll give it a shot. And then finally, the premonition. Beyond the power of an exorcist, beyond the door of science, lies the world of terror for two damned souls and the spirit that's dying to get out. It's a long description for a front cover. There's a description. And again, if I recall correctly, this one got average reviews or something. So I don't know. Maybe these are all stinkers, but I paid like seven bucks each for them, so I don't care. And none of them came with booklets, really, I don't think, because they're all old. Um, Toy Story 4. I actually showed this one, too, Bordy. So, and again, I still haven't watched it yet, so I can't even talk about it. I got The Lion King, the live-action version. This is embossed here. Also haven't seen this, because I was busy watching fucking horror movies all month. Munch. Month. Um, I've he actually heard it's not great, or it's, it's uh, underwhelming, which doesn't surprise me. But, you know... Still watch it. Check it out at some point. I haven't watched Aladdin either. When did I, I got that last month too, and I still haven't watched it. Uh, what's this? I got The Kitchen from Warner Brothers. Um, it's about some uh, wives of some mobsters in the not in the nineties. Wait, no, excuse me, the seventies. Nell's Kitchen. Their husbands got picked up and, and they're in jail, and they took over their business or something like that. I think it's based on a comic book series called The Kitchen. So, I mean, I've heard almost nothing about it. I checked out one review and it was like, like gave it like a C or something. So I don't know. I'll check it out at some point. I like um, Elizabeth Moss. Um, I don't mind Tiffany Haddish and um, Melissa McCarthy is okay. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. I'll check it out at some point. Um, High Life, I think I mentioned last time. Didn't I? I think so. This is a little fucking bent. Fuck that shit. Um, uh, I don't know anything else about it. It's, it's supposed to be good. Or it's supposed to be weird actually, but you know. High Life. I got this from Target for like 16 bucks, because why not? Chernobyl Season 1, or I guess just the mini series. I don't think they're making a Season 2 or anything. Um, again, mentioned this already. Excellent, excellent series. Recommend it to anybody who wants to see um, what happened to Chernobyl in 1986. Very cool. Check it out on HBO and streaming and stuff. Uh, Adam's Family and Adam's Family Values 2 Movie Collection. I, I don't remember if I showed this. I don't think so. Um, I watched these when I was a kid, and I was, I think it was like 11 or 12 bucks, and uh, I figured, what the fuck, just get it. Again, of course I haven't seen them, and of course it's already past October, so why would I watch them now, right? I'll have to wait a whole, whole year now. And I guess it was end with Child's Play on this stack here. The remake, I mentioned this, did I mention this already? I think I did. Yeah, I think I did. Um, I did watch this during the month, and I actually enjoyed it. I'd give it like a B, B plus, something like that. Um... It's different than the original, um, but I did something different, I think. It was very interesting, I thought. I, I'd be curious to see more. I thought the acting was decent. The kills were pretty good, I'd say. Um, score was all right. Um, pacing was good. Directing was good. I don't think it seemed okay to me. I don't know. Uh, I had a fun time with it. Didn't hate it. I didn't love it exactly, but I did not hate it at all. Maybe because my expectations were kind of low. That's probably why. But uh, I'd say give it a shot if you haven't seen it, you know. Ugh. Uh, American Wolf of London. I did do an unboxing of this. We don't have to go into crazy detail about this, but I enjoyed this. I watched this transfer already. I liked it a lot. It was very good. Special features. There's like two documentaries on here and lots of features, so I recommend this a lot. Very cool. Knock, knock. So yeah, very cool. One of my favorite uh, werewolf films in a nice limited edition set. And second to last, I got this Nightbreed set. This is um, a Region B. I think it's Region B. Actually, hold on. I think it's Region B. Yeah, it, is. it says Region B here. Um, which is fine, because I have a Region B player. But, you know, Region Free player. Here's uh, Disc 1. This is the Theatrical and Director's Cut. And then a bonus features on Blu-ray, too. So two disc set. I thought that set was three discs. It's got this other section here, but that's just a, it's a whatever. Um, it came with some cards or something. Let's see what it came with, actually. Hold on. Oh, we didn't put anything, actually. Never mind. <laughs> I think it came with, um, a booklet. Yeah, hold on, excuse me. It says, uh, Lori thought she knew everything about her boyfriend. 
Lori was wrong. This is apparently like a cult film. I'd, I'd heard of it before. I've heard about certain characters. Um, uh, and like I said, I think I made an unboxing of this, so I've already talked about it. So, you know, I don't have to go into detail exactly. But, um, like, I haven't watched it yet, so I don't know. But um, I really wish they put something in the back here. I really don't like it when they just leave it blank like this. Because they could have put anything back there. But, you know, that's just me being nitpicky. But, like, I don't have any opinion of this because I haven't seen it. So, I think the artwork's kind of nice. I like a lot of the character design and stuff. But, you know, I don't know anything about it. I know Clive Barker um, created the characters and stuff. So, did he direct it too? Hold on. Yeah, he did. Which is cool. I'll check that out at some point, but probably not soon now. And then finally, this was an impulse buy that I was not planning on. But this is the Universal Classic Monsters Complete 30 Film Collection. I already owned the UK set. I got that years ago. I paid like 16 bucks for it, American. Um, it just got the, the, the six, seven, I think it's seven films. Um, wait, how many is it? It's one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, seven films. Frankenstein, Wolfman, Dracula, Mummy, Invisible Man, Creature, and Phantom. They're uh, first films, you know, all in a set. Um, just like um, the American one that actually has uh, the, uh, the Bride of Frankenstein too. But this set has way more than that. It's got 30 films. And uh, I thought that was intriguing. It was $69.99 on Amazon's Deal of the Day. And I just thought that was a pretty good price for it. Um, I think it was about that price last year. And I passed on it because, I, again, I had that set. But for whatever reason, I was like, you know what? Screw it. I'll just buy it. And um, so I did. So, And it comes with The Phantom of the Opera, which is just one film. It doesn't have anything else. Um, which is which is fine, you know. I actually haven't watched this film in forever. 1943. So I was planning on checking that out. I only watched one. I watched Frankenstein. Because I hadn't seen that in years. And I enjoyed it. But it's, you know... I think Creature is my favorite of the characters. But, um... Creature from the Black Lagoon Legacy set. This is 1954-56. And it contains three films. Uh, Creature from the Black Lagoon, Revenge of the Creature, and The Creature Walks Among Us. On two discs. Cool. Invisible Man, which contains uh, six films Invisible Man, Invisible Man Returns, Invisible Woman, Invisible Agent, The Invisible Man's Revenge, and then Abbott and Costello meet the Invisible Man, which, you know, there's a couple of those on here. Which I haven't seen them, so I should, I should give them a shot. But uh, there they are. Multiple discs. This is only four discs, I think, yeah. And so on and so forth. I don't know if I have to go through all this. There's like a bunch of unboxing of this online if you want to check them out. But uh, The Mummy, same deal, six films. Uh, Dracula, I think it's six films, yeah. Wolfman has seven films. And I did watch this, I think, last year. I liked the first Wolfman. I haven't seen anything else, really. I think I might have seen... Where was it? Werewolf of London. I think I might have seen that at some point, but I don't know. Um, so there's that one. And then the finally... It's a Frankenstein collection, which has eight films, which has Frankenstein, Bryce Frankenstein, Son of Frankenstein, The Ghost of Frankenstein, Frankenstein Meets the Wolfman, House of Frankenstein, House of Dracula, Abbott, Abbott and Costello Meet Frankenstein. Lots of discs. Lots of fucking stuff here. Very cool. I just, no, I don't know. I, it's like five bucks a movie. Like, well, actually, shit, is it like three bucks a movie? I don't know. Two bucks movie? I don't know. And then it came with a booklet that I think that it once came in too. So talks about the films, uh, the actors and stuff. This is the, the same uh, booklet that came with the UK set too, though, so it's not like it's super duper special or anything. But um, I did get that too. And you know. In fact, I did check the other day and I think it's still it was it went back up to whatever it is normally is like 180 bucks. Um, but just the other day, I looked online for just whatever, and I noticed it was still, or it was just back down. It was not a deal of the day or anything, but it was back down to 70 bucks. so just give it a shot. You can check it out and see if it still is if you want it. Um, I'm assuming that means they just got a large inventory of them, and they want to get rid of them, so maybe that's why. Okay, so anyway, that's everything I got. And this is way longer than I expected. It's 24 damn minutes, so...
Sorry about that, guys. I just keep... I'm too long-winded for my own good sometimes, but... um. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching. And I'll just close in on this classic monster set. And, uh, yeah. Let me know if you like this format of doing, a, like, a, a video at the end of the month. Um, I don't know. I assume I'll still do unboxings occasionally. Because, of course, I will. You know. But, um, this is kind of fun to do a little recap here. Um, so let me know. I don't know. Um, so, yeah. This is fun. It's uh, middle of, well, it's early November right now. And uh, um, I bought a couple things, the Criterion sales this month, and I'm going to see how if I can abstain besides a couple things I already bought. Um, I don't think I'm going to buy anything big. That Godzilla set is tempting, but I really don't like that packaging, personally. But it'd be really cool to have those, those films, so I don't know what I'm going to do. And of course, you know, it's Black Friday month. I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do when it comes to Black Friday. I, I never really plan that specifically. I'll have to see what the ads show. So... I am sure you'll see an unboxing video from me in the future and probably some more update videos and then potentially maybe an end of the month November haul. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you again in the future. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.